Okay, this is an example of monoprinting um, with basic flattish objects. So you're looking for objects that have um, a subtle relief to them. So things like feathers, leaves, um, lace, mesh, grid, um, objects that you find out and about in the environment as well can be used. They need to be flattish for this to work and um, to capture the print. So in this case here, um, print, single print's been done on cartridge and also you can use your silk cocoon papers as an ideal surface to get a subtle print as well. For the process, um, masking tape a piece of acetate to a piece of background paper. This is going to be a good surface to roll your ink onto. You'll need a printing roller and some printing ink um, which you'll use. Just a, a small dob, probably the size of uh, a chocolate Rolo, to give you an idea of how much. Okay. And then using your roller, um, and this is why the acetate is good for this, you want to use your roller to get a nice, even consistency. Aim for the consistency of a whisper chocolate bar. So no oil slips. Just a nice even coating, and notice I'm going horizontal and vertically to get a nice even coverage, and this can be a good ink base for you. Okay, so even coverage now on my roller. Um, now I need to place ink onto my object, so I'm going to use the feather to get a print with. So I need to make sure that I can thoroughly ink over the object that I'm going to work with. So I'm transferring my ink from my plate onto my object. And you might find that the texture that you're creating on the paper might also be useful to work with as well. Inked feather. I'm going to place the ink feather up so the ink is facing upwards. So you get a better print very often when you put your clean paper, the paper that you want your feathered print onto, face down. So this is the paper that my print is going to transfer onto. With a clean roller, carefully apply pressure. You can go in a variety of directions, applying quite even amount of um, pressure over the top of the surface. Because of the subtleties of the feather as well, I'm going to use my thumb or you can use your fingerprints or even your, your fist area just working into the areas a little bit more just so I can get the capture the subtlety of the feather. You might find you can achieve this just with the roller but some areas where there is quite a lot of detail you may find you want to use the pressure of your fingertips. And then carefully lift up to reveal. So this is the one where I've got my print I'm aiming for onto my surface. 